Do your drums sound like this? And you want them to sound like this? Hello everyone, I'm Brendan Pajazic and this is BKP Media. Thank you for tuning in. So Kyle Brownlee, drummer of Counterparts, just put out a new drum library through Soundline Drums and Native Instruments. The pack consists of a 22 inch kick drum, a 12 inch rack tom, a 16 inch floor tom, and a 14 by 8 inch Pearl Vinnie Paul Signature Maple Snare Drum. Not like that though. Never like that. The cymbals are all Zildjian and they consist of 14 inch K Sweet Hats, 19 and 20 inch A Custom Crashes, a 21 inch K Crash Ride Brilliant, a 21 inch Mega Bell Ride Brilliant, and a 19 inch Cup. Oh, and a 19 inch Ultra Hat, Alternate Universe. Uh. Can, can I step in? Absolutely. It's pronounced ultra hammered. Oh, like you, buddy. Oh, uh, if it's okay, I'm just gonna take a quick little nap sack over here. Yeah, yeah, you do that. No worries. The kit also oh, consists baby. of mono room mic, stereo room mic, and hall mics, room reverb, and a drum reverb for the actual shelves themselves. You can run the plugin through stereo out, which is awesome because you get to use the post processing that is built into the plugin, or you can run it through multi out. You can also run each individual track with the processing built into it, or you can choose to use just the raw samples. He also included a surplus of MIDI grooves, which is awesome. So you can take what Kyle programmed and you can make your own songs based off of it. So if you want to take your drum tones from sounding like this to sounding like this, Sorry, sorry, sounding like this. Then let's get into it. All right, so now we're in Ableton and I have Counterkit loaded up just through Contact Player over here. Well, this is the initial patch. One second, it'll totally be worth it. Okay. Cool. So that is the drum section. And then we go into the mixer and you got all the channels. I have a drum loop preloaded up, solo the kick. Crazy. You got your drum room here. You got your drum verb here. Right now we're in just a stereo out. So it's all coming out of this channel. And yeah, if you want, you can set up the multi out, which is what I will do. And then we go into controls here and you can choose the blending. I'll solo just the snare so we can hear what this is doing. We can solo the kick here. We'll hear what it sounds like with the processing and when you press off is when it goes to raw which Kyle gave you an option so instead of having to click every single one of these you just go to the raw sample setting and you're all good also in here we have all of the reverbs so we can mess with the room reverb and the drum reverbs I'll put just the snare on so we can hear it We have a mix bus compressor, saturator here, uh, parallel compression, drum EQ, transient designer, tape saturator, stereo imaging, and drummer perspective. Everything has a bypass switch, so I'm just gonna turn it all off here. We'll kind of go one by one and just hear what everything's like. So next we got the tube saturator and again with all these plugins you can just mess with the mix so you don't have to go 100% in on it. Cool, so next we have the parallel compression.
transient designer. So if you don't know a transient designer, you can choose to boost the initial attack or you can decrease it by going either up or down. And then you can do the same with the sustain so the whole drum will last longer, essentially. So next we have another tape saturator. And then we have stereo imaging. You can, I guess, spread it out or bring it in a bit. I'll show you drummer perspective, even though you probably shouldn't touch it. You know? We have all these extra symbols, but most of them are set to just the overhead. So having this bleed mix, we're able to go into the overheads and we can make the hats louder. We can put anything louder that we want or quieter. And same with the stereo room, the mono room, and the hall mic. Sometimes it's good to just have basically just snare in your hall mic and a little bit of symbols, especially symbols if you want to make it sound real. And there we got rid of the toms completely. So you can see that the possibilities are endless. Now I will say that if you're looking for a drum library with a massive kit that has like six toms, 13 cymbals, multiple kicks, multiple snares to choose from, it's got a hamburger, pickles, cheese, hummus, tabbouleh, tabbouleh? Who gets tabbouleh on a burger? Then you're gonna wanna go with something like the Get Good Drums Invasion Kit or something like that with a bunch of choices. This loop that we're listening to is actually one of the grooves provided by Kyle and here. Here, there are a bunch of beats that are free for you to use to like start a song or just completely use it, which is what I'm going to be doing today. So let's see how that goes. Future Brendan here. I quickly realized while editing this video that it was becoming a lot longer than I expected. So I decided to split it up into two parts. This one being the general overview and the next one being the actual songwriting aspect. If you want to see the actual songwriting part, then there should be a link here depending on when you watch it. If not, subscribe and stay posted and you'll be notified when I put it out. Thank you. Say I need an intro for a song. If you want to hear it at 225, which is what Kyle made it, let me double click to play. And if I want to play it slower, type whatever, 182. or if you want, you can press EXT up here, which is gonna go to what Ableton is set to. All you have to do is click right here and then drag it in to whatever program you're using onto the MIDI track and it'll give you the option to change the tempo and key signature. Change the tempo here, 225 back to his original and then I'll play it. Okay, so now I'm just going to open up the instance that I made earlier of just the raw tracks and I'm able to send them out all to their own track by clicking the multi out button right here. So there we can see a pretty drastic difference only because I can completely mix the drums the way that I want to. Through doing this, I accidentally found something interesting. My kick usually is track two, but I found that track two was actually the stereo mix. So I'm able to use all of the reverbs on track two and then have all my drums start from kick on three, snare on four, and so on. If I mess with all these parameters in here, then they'll actually change in real time. And then if you don't want to, you don't have to use the reverbs, but I probably will use it because it sounds nice. Now I will say the only real criticism I have for this drum kit is that you can't do some of the fundamentals of drumming, kind of like this. Who doesn't know a song that goes like this? 
You know what I'm song when I'm playing, right? You know what song I'm playing, right? And I noticed that on the website, the drum kit's actually on sale. I don't know if it's a starter price, I don't know what they're doing, but if you had something like this, or something like this, then you can easily, easily charge 100 USD. So, I don't know, something to consider. But I do know that they're looking to do some upgrades in the future, they're gonna add some more drum grooves, they're gonna add possibly some more drum samples and stuff. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed, sorry. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that maybe in the next edition they'll include something like this. Or, or this one. I'm gonna leave a link for counter kit in the description, so if you wanna purchase it, please do. It'll support Kyle, and they're great. You're gonna have a good time using them.